horse drawn effects. Uh, uh, you know, you, you put bits together and then you made a physical prop and you photographed it. Now you can create it in, in a computer. And that's basically the difference. But, uh, you know, and both methods uh, work. Um, the computer graphic is, uh, is uh, perhaps allows you a little bit more latitude. But it also allows you the potential, as, as Gavin mentioned, to, to, to exceed human scale, uh, to get beyond, uh, you know, overpopulate the screen uh, in a way that confuses the eye and the emotions. And, I, and I'm convinced by what I've seen that, that we have not done that here. But it's a great aid to imagination. And one of the best things about science fiction, I think, is that it, 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 um, uh, the bandwidth of imagination that you can, that you can uh, uh, use. I mean, a, a realistic film on Earth only has a certain visual and, and uh, um, has an, a certain potential. But when you get into the future, uh, it broadens. You can imagine things that, uh, and this book did imagine 28 years ago, things like the internet, touch screen technology, uh, uh, drone warfare, all of which is now a part of our lives, for better or worse. Um, so it's a, it's a very, uh, there's a lot of wisdom and understanding in the book. And, uh, potentially, we've captured quite a bit of it. Thanks, I hope so. How was it for you, Asa and Haley, then, working with this, I mean, first venture into the world of sci-fi for you guys as well? What was it like working, I mean, obviously you had some physical, physical products, but working with the world of CGI as well? It was really exciting. Neither of us had done a film with this level of special effects and this level of CGI. And when you're hanging there in 20 feet off the ground, surrounded by green screen, and all you've got is the other actor, a metal star, and the wonderful Gavin Hood shouting instructions at you as to what's going on. It's, it's a really interesting experience, and we honestly couldn't do it without all of those instructions being shouted out, and we had a lot of fun experimenting, and Gavin had his, what we call previs, which is what his idea was, what the film would look like, but nothing can compare to the final image. Um, let me talk about the book for a second as well. Rich Jenkins and so many people on Twitter want to know.